Roger Carden. Um, so Indy is, of course, designed for speed like other Falcons. So if Chloe was to turn around, and you can see the back of her, you can see her wings are arrow, kind of, they come into a point like an arrow. So very different to like the owls have got where they're the more rounded. Um, so that means that she is more than capable of building up speed by dropping out of the sky. So that's, kind of, that's where kind of there is a bit of misconception with the speed on falcons. If they're flying straight, a pigeon can outfly them. But if they go up and use the height and then they drop out of the sky, that's where they can get their speed. So they actually stoop out of the sky. Um, kestrels can actually build up speeds of about 80 miles per hour if they get high enough. Um, of course, nothing compared to her larger cousin, the peregrine, that can go over 200 miles per hour. So they are very fast birds. Um, we do have some bigger falcons at the centre. We actually have a hybridised species um, called a Geoseca falcon. So it's actually half Geo falcon and half Seca falcon. And those birds can actually fly at over, well, around 150 miles per hour when they're dropping out of the sky. And believe me, that is scary when you've got one flying in at you. Um, you have to be very quick on your feet because we fly falcons to what's called a law pad when they're outside. So you may have seen it if you've seen a falconry display. It's a line with a leather pad on it, and we actually swing that around and we chuck it out and do different passes, and the bird actually comes in and chases it. Um, so it's very fun to do with falcons. Um, kestrels do it a little bit different, to be honest. Um, kestrels, um, where they're such a tiny bird, they use a lot of energy when they're flying. Um, and they're also the only bird of prey that can actually sustain a hover, which is how they also get the name the wind hoverer. So when you see kestrels, you probably see them in, out down the sides of the roads, in the fields, across the downs. They'll um, be doing a hover, and that's usually when they're finding something to eat. Um, but if 